Hello everyone. It is Friday, February 26. It's about 10.30 and I was going to do a quick morning update about what's going on this morning. But first, I got a mysterious package. It's addressed to my husband and I was about to open it, but then I decided I should open it on camera. So, I think it might be a donation uh, gift from a wind energy company. Let's see if I can do this one-handed. Okay, so Apparently, there are gummy oranges for some reason. Not sure why. And then, yeah. So, we have a tabletop model of, there we go. A bladeless wind turbine, um, which is some of the new technology that um, the industry is working on. So let's see what it looks like. Carefully. Okay, sorry, I didn't want to break it by trying to open it with one hand. So this is a tabletop model of a real wind turbine that is um, made by Vortex. They're a wind energy company and their letter here says that um, basically this is just a little model. It doesn't actually create any energy. Well, it doesn't produce any electricity. Um, but they started making these handmade, sorry, there we go, these handmade models as their um, crowdfunding initiative took off to say thank you to their um, supporters. And so you put this um, next to a window or a fan and it will oscillate as the wind blows around it. Um, I will link to one of their pages below. I don't know if there's still a crowdsourcing initiative, but I will put in the uh, section below um, one of their websites. So I've put our new wind turbine model up here with our more traditional windmill. So I am now home from dance. Um, sorry I couldn't really take the camera or anything with me. It's not really a activity that's good for videotaping and also um, I don't really think it's allowed. So you'll just have to imagine it. Um, I got home and then we took our puppies to the dog park, which I could have uh, videoed probably, but it's really windy um, and it we would have just heard a lot of wind, so maybe one day when it's not super windy, I will turn the camera on and you can see how our dogs don't actually play with other dogs at the dog park. They just walk around and smell things. It's very exciting. Um, speaking of the dogs, I suppose I could introduce you. So, here is Kelvin. Oh, and I think he hears something. And then there's Miri, um, M I R I, and they are both Basinjis. Um, Basinjis aren't super common. Um, they're not a super common dog breed, and we didn't get a Basinji to be hipsters. Um, they are hypoallergenic. Sorry, I had to help Nathan with something. Um, so this is Miri. 
This is Kelvin. Kelvin is a little bit bigger and has a yellow collar and a little pink spot on his nose still, even though he's two years old. And Miri is smaller and has a blue collar and does not have a little pink spot on her nose. We've had Kelvin for two years. Um, we got him from a breeder because we, um, there aren't really Basinjis that end up in shelters very often, and we, um, wanted to get a puppy, um, and wanted to go ahead and get a dog faster than we could get one through a rescue. Um, but when we got Mary, we did rescue her. And since she is a rescue, she is a little bit more antisocial than Kelvin. Um, she doesn't really like people so much. She was probably, well, she was definitely neglected. She was probably abused. Um, so most of the time she curls up in a little ball on the couch, what we call a little bisingy nest of blankets. And she sleeps, and that's fine. And this is what Kelvin does. Good boy. This is a state that the puppies are almost always in when there's sunshine coming through the door. Because they are sunbathing puppies. Hello everyone. It is Saturday, uh, not morning anymore. We had sort of a lazy morning. I might have slept in a little bit. Um, sorry, I'm a bad vlogger and I didn't do any more videoing last night. So, yeah. Um, but you didn't really miss too much. I, this morning, we are in the garage and working on um, building some shelves for a friend who has an olive oil company um, and she's selling olive oil in some of the local grocery stores so that is what we're doing here is a table that my husband oof, built and is polyurethaning and i think it looks really nice our current coffee table was from Amazon and weighs about two pounds, so we're going to have a grown-up coffee table. And then this is the tool setup with the puppies being nice and happy in the sunshine. And uh, we will check in a little bit later. So I've come inside to make lunch, and I figured while I was doing that, I would explain some things that might be a little confusing about just my life in general. Sorry if you can hear the sawing in the background. So one thing that might be confusing is that I said I'm a student at the University of Massachusetts, but based on the sunshine and the short sleeves, clearly I am not in Massachusetts right now. Um, we actually are living in Oklahoma because my husband is also a graduate student right now. He is studying history of science, which is a thing in case people are confused. I am out here with him and we're at the University of Oklahoma. And I went to OU for a little while working on my master's degree in mechanical engineering. And then last year I received a National Science Foundation fellowship. And when I got that fellowship, actually I wasn't even planning on getting a PhD. Um, I decided just to get a master's and then try to go into the wind energy industry with a master's. 
Um, so when I got the fellowship, I decided to go ahead and do a PhD. Um, but since I wanted to get a PhD in wind energy, really wasn't an option to stay at the University of Oklahoma. It's not an issue of whether or not the school was good enough. It's just there's not a program here for me. So, hold on. Actually, I talked to other schools and um, got accepted to the University of Massachusetts, found a professor there that I really like, and I'm super excited about it. But um, we didn't, my husband and I, didn't want to split up and live in different states. Um, <laughs> sorry if you heard that. Um, so what I'm doing is working remotely with the professor at UMass and um, just doing right now a lot of literature review, which if you're a graduate student or have been a graduate student, you understand. Um, so that's what I'm working on now and uh, learning some programs to use for my research and I'll be doing that for the next year or so. And then after that, hopefully Nathan will be ready to move with me to Massachusetts. Um, and he should just be writing at that point. He'll be done with all his classes and everything. Um, and he'll be able to move and we will leave Oklahoma, which I'm sure you can imagine we're very upset about. Um, but yeah, that's, that's that. <laughs> <laughs>
about a week ago, there was a little black and white kitty that showed up around here. Um, Calvin, you don't need to kill it. That, um, oh, good job. If anyone has never heard of Basinji Baru before, that's what it is. Basinjis don't really bark very often. Um, they can make a barking noise, but somehow I think their vocal cords are different, and they most of the time make that howling noise that you just heard instead of a yipping, barking noise. Anyway, about a week ago, a black and white cat showed up in the neighborhood, and we more or less know which cats belong to whom in the neighborhood, and we are pretty sure no one had that little cat. I took him to the shelter, and he got neutered on Friday, my baby, and um, is now up for adoption. I volunteer at the shelter, so Kelvin... I'm able to keep a good eye on him. Um, and now I think maybe his... I know. I think maybe his sister has shown up because she has very similar eyes and about the same size and is doing exactly what he did when my dogs were angry because he was on the porch. So I think I'll ask around this afternoon and see if anyone knows who she is, and if she has an owner, and if <coughs> maybe I will take her to the shelter, and she can hang out with her brother. We'll see what happens. I'll keep you updated. So I just got home from dance, and I just wanted to show you all what a beautiful day it is here. It's ridiculous. It is only March. Well, actually, it isn't even March. It's uh, leap day. So it's February 29th, and it is ridiculous. It's like 75 degrees and sunny and beautiful, and I'm wearing short sleeves outside. And the only bad thing about that is, as I was biking to dance today, I smelled something terrible. I thought that it was like fish or something bizarre. Then I realized it was the stupid Bradford pear trees. And if you live somewhere, that doesn't have Bradford pears, one, consider yourself lucky, and two, never ever plant Bradford pears anywhere. I guess they look nice. I don't think they look any better than dogwoods or other trees with white blooms, but they smell horrible, like dead fish. So that's my word of advice to you all for day. Never plant Bradford pears. Look at this adorableness! It's so cute! Look at this little girl. She just had her face up against the window. Oh, like that. Hi, baby girl. So, I think that's gonna be it for this week's vlog. It's Tuesday afternoon and not a whole lot is going on. I We've been to the dog park and I went to the shelter this morning and I'm just gonna hang out at the house the rest of the day and read and work on editing and that's about it. I just wanted to say thank you to everyone who has looked at the video or subscribed on YouTube or followed us on Facebook or I guess liked us on Facebook and followed us on Twitter or done whatever it is that you do on the internet. <laughs> Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. It's super helpful because you obviously know people I don't and I can share and talk about this as much as I want, but without other people talking about it and posting about it and sharing videos and everything, it's not really going to go anywhere. So if you think that this is even a little bit important and that there's a little girl out there that would get into engineering because of seeing this, then you should share it or forward it to someone who, you know, who would share it. I just, 
I just want to help. Um, but yeah, so thank you. Hopefully you liked this video at least a little. Um, I don't know if it's what you expected. I don't know if it's what I expected. <laughs> but it is what it is. I think I might be adding another sort of differently structured video in addition to the vlogs. But I don't really know what that would be. I, I want to add something that will sort of keep the interest of people who are already engineering minded. Um, I feel like that's important because those are the people who have other outreach projects and um, they can tell the people they're in contact with about this. So I think it's important to keep their interest with some sort of engineering specific related video, but I just don't know what that would be. <laughs> um, we've discussed like a this week in history of engineering sort of thing, talking about something exciting that had happened, probably geared toward minorities in engineering. Um, I don't know if that would be interesting. I've thought about talking about graduate school or applying to graduate school or general academia stuff. Um, yeah, I don't know. Sorry, Nathan just called me. Um, I'm trying to remember exactly what I was saying, but I think it was somewhere along the lines of I'm going to try to post another type of video in addition to the weekly vlogs, maybe next week. I guess it depends on if I get very much feedback from this. That's it. Um, thanks again for watching, and I'll see you soon. Bye. So I lied. I just recorded the um, sort of thank you video for the end of this week's vlog, and I opened up my garage. <laughs> and I'll show you what I see. Nathan's going to be so mad at me. Um, Hi, Miss Katie. Oh, no. Oh, no. You can't let you...